Huawei notice is a we are in a very difficult time. We are suffering from the US government's the third round ban. This unfair ban. It makes us extremely difficult. If you read in between the lines, you can conclude that Huawei leadership has gone back to their Chinese rule in adopting the art of water navigating their way out of the current quagmire they are in, the economic suffocation imposed on them by the US government. If you don't know Sun Tzu, then let me tell you about the art of war, the literal stuff of legend. The legendary Chinese general and strategist Sun Tzu is the author of the book called The Art of War. Legend has it that this book is older than the Bible itself. The Art of War has been the go-to books for military, political, and of late, business leaders. The footprints Huawei leaders are leaving seems to be in line with the instruction encoded in the Art of War. They avoided going head to head with the opponent, it will not be in their favor. Instead, they seem to be like the victims, covering for public opinion to be on their side. The Chinese government didn't step in Huawei's side, retaliating on their behalf on US companies operating in China. They still accommodate trade as it is. This is in line with what Sun Tzu said. If your opponent is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is temperamental, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak that he may grow arrogant. Huawei has been under economic war from the US government with them being placed in the business blacklist of entities, essentially cutting them off the supply chain and critical business partners. This is aimed to cripple Huawei's smartphone business and what did Huawei do? They turned inward and innovated, all hands on deck, developing their Harmony OS, Huawei Mobile Services HMS, and App Gallery. It looked as if it may not happen, but against all odds, they just launched the latest flagship in the Mate series, the Mate 40. The focus is the cutting edge Mate 40 Pro. Let's see how it is coming up to the challenge. With me, your public tech advice on update. Let's get you up to date. Without Google services and apps like Gmail, Maps, Search, Drive, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc., Huawei Mate 40 Pro dropped with the tagline, Leap Further Ahead. With a space ring camera system inspired by the shape of the black hole or the donut, according to Mr. Who's the Boss. <laughs> it comes in mystic silver, which reflects every single color depending on the angle you tilt it towards, then white, black, green, and yellow. 6.67 inch diagonally of OLED display, high resolution, 456 pixels per inch, 90 hz full 240 hz touch response, with a peel-shaped front camera cutout, curved sharply at 88 degrees, pushing the power and volume buttons further back to the point of disappearance. And in case they actually disappear and you can't see them, there is a virtual volume rocker on either side you can use to control the volume of the super bass dual stereo speakers. In screen fingerprint and face ID to double the security. Mate 40 allows you to create a guest profile to secure your file when handling your phone over to another person. And it can recognize prying eyes and lock your phone when it senses it is not you, and many more. Held together by an aluminum frame, glass front and back. IP68 water and dust resistance, simple and hybrid dual nano SIM, it's a 5G phone with 4G, 3G and 2G compatible, with Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth and infrared. Huawei has always been leading the industry when it comes to camera technology. They introduced the first night mode, the rest are only catching up now. The Mate 40 Pro comes with 50 megapixel wide angle main camera, 20 megapixel ultra wide scene camera, 12 megapixel telephoto with 10 times hybrid zoom and 50 times digital zoom with stabilization and a laser sensor for accurate focusing and background depth sensing. Arranged around the ring with a dual LED flash. You get up to 4K at 30 and 60 frames per second, 1080p from 30 to 480 frames per second, 720p at 960 and 3480 frames per second for ultra slow-mo videos. For selfie, it's a dual 13 megapixel 18 mm ultra wide angle lens and time of flight 3D sensor for depth sensing and biometrics. For bloggers, there is a ring light case that pops up at the touch of a button sold separately. When it comes to processor, I don't need to tell you. 
Huawei is going for the jugular against the competition, against all odds. Now check this out. World first 5 nanometer SOC system on chip. 15.3 billion transistors with an advanced 5G modem, CPU, graphics, neural and image processors. This is the Kirin 9000 5G that powers the Mate 40 series. Another thing is, processor speed and performance degrade after a certain type of usage. The Kirin 990 chip has 18 months of smooth operation without experiencing any degradation. The Kirin 9000 has 36 months of smooth operation before an expected 2.5% decrease in performance. With a 4400 mAh battery, the Kirin 9000 is designed for low power consumption and longer battery life that can be recharged with a 66 w super fast wired charging, 50 w wireless charging, 5 w reverse wireless charging, and as claimed by Huawei, it is capable of charging in temperatures as low as minus 5 degrees centigrade, a jab and uppercut to Samsung and Apple respectively. There are various other cool charging accessories sold separately like the 50 watts wireless car charger stand, wireless car charger, 66 watts supercharged car charger, and 12,000 milliampere hour 66 watt power bike. What they did was to get an open source Android and build up their custom skin on top. The EMUI comes with some interesting features, among which is the EOD, not the end of discussion. Eyes on display, similar to OnePlus's EOD, always on display. EOD allows you to take your favorite picture or video and display it on the lock screen, but only comes on when your eyes are on the screen, else it is off to conserve battery, giving it a personalized look. Cool. New fresh layout and UI, deconstructed design infused with art and glamour, animated transition, floating windows, smooth switching, resizable windows, and more. Smart gesture control, upgraded and enhanced with new cool gestures, like the air wake, air swipe, air control, air scroll, air press and air answering, all using AI and the time of flight sensor out in the front camera. The Huawei app gallery now has over 2 million developers working on it. Petal mouse for navigation, Petal search engine and AI voice assistant Celia. One day at a time, brick by brick. In the box you get the phone, a 66 watt fast charger, USB-C cable and earphones, flexible clear case, quick start guide, SIM eject tool and warranty card, all for 1,199 euros. Huawei will not cut that in dollars, and you know why. <laughs> but it is started from a little over $1,400 for this 8 gig to 56 gig version. Huawei does not chill, they are fighting on. The Mate 40 series comes in three models and one exquisite version, base Mate 40, Mate 40 Pro, Mate 40 Pro Plus, and Porsche designed Mate 40 RS for smart luxury where cars meet smartphones. The Kirin 9000 did it for them this year. Somehow they are able to stockpile it beating the sanction. It is an amazing piece of hardware but hard to recommend because of the setback Huawei is currently facing in the tech and political world. This is not to say that they are not catching off fast in their ecosystem with the Harmony OS development, Huawei Mobile Services and App Gallery. They are just as relentless. They are relentless and resourceful. It is a full-on war, a cold war. As Sun Tzu said in The Out of War, let your plans be as dark and impenetrable as night. And when you move, strike like a thunderbolt. We will see how the Met 50 series fares in some months to come and how things will turn out after the US election in 2021. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. It's your public tech advisor. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, cheers.